I have lived for most of my 13 years in a mud hut in Eastern Africa on the coast of the Indian Ocean with my two older brothers and my parents. Just before my 13th birthday, we were forced to leave our home, pack what few belongings we owned, and travel to our new home in Northern Mozambique. This disruption in our lives was the result of the human actions that impacted the marine ecosystem we so heavily relied on. My father has spent his entire adult professional life as a fisherman, and that is how he has supported our family. Just before we left our quiet fishing village, a group of men were charged with hefty fines for illegal logging. Logging and the resulting deforestation has impacted the fish because it leads to harmful runoff that adds too many nutrients to the water, unfortunately killing the fish. After this specific event, one of my father's friends told him that the police reported five tractors, two front and loaders, four logging trucks, and six other unknown vehicles. Reporters say that police confiscated cell phones, cash, and other belongings found on site. If actions like these continue to happen in my country, we will begin to see an irreversible catastrophic impact on the environment. They are damaging the beautiful natural features of Mozambique. Greetings, my name is Abiba Jr. I am 13 years old. Five years ago, my uncle took me to Gorongosa National Park for my eighth birthday. We gazed at elephants, hippos, and lions while we toured the park to see some of the most charming and delightful views I will most likely never see again in my lifetime. Today, visitors aren't able to appreciate the beautiful scenery that I did because of deforestation. Although as a result, our government has began to develop forestry reforms in order to stop illegal deforestation. The ongoing issue concerning Mozambique's illegal and unsustainable deforestation is resulting in families and animals being forced to leave their homes and move into regions that haven't been affected like mine has. Amongst all African countries, Mozambique is among one of the earliest to gain its independence and become one state. My history teacher, Mr. Tembe, taught us about how the Portuguese control from the 1400s until 1975 shaped the way our country is today. There was a national movement to overtake the Portuguese rule. In 1975, we gained independence after defeating the Portuguese government. Later, they established Free Limão, a national political group throughout the nation. Portugal reigned over my country for nearly 500 years. We gained many valuable resources within that long time span. Some of these include cashews, shrimp, sugar, cotton, tea, and much more. However, not all the Portuguese influence was positive. Mozambique in the 19th century ran one of the largest slave trade industries in the world. The slave trade was driven by an increase in need from the diamond industry in South Africa and the sugar industry throughout Africa. In the 19th century, more than 1 million innocent Mozambicans were enslaved and shipped to locations all around the world. Today, my country's population continues to grow to roughly 30 million citizens. My country is among one of the biggest distributors of many materials worldwide. Some of these being titanium, iron, gold, graphite, and much more. Although my country is among one of the largest producers, we suffer from many natural hazards. The rain season that stretches from December to April leaves a chip on the beautiful features my country has. Throughout these months, we experience many floods, droughts, and cyclones. Although our beautiful ebony wood sculptures chairs, and much more make up for the damage that was dealt. Myself, along with my family members, are so fortunate to be able to live in such a majestic country like Mozambique. People across Mozambique are taking actions today to avoid and eradicate catastrophic events from occurring. Not only are other families experiencing devastating and life-changing events, but also my family. After unsustainable deforestation was on the uprise, my family and I were forced to leave our mud hut in eastern Mozambique. Unfortunately for my father, his passion and career 
and support for our family has been increasingly impacted because of these mishaps. Eventually, fishing may not exist in my hardy country of Mozambique. Our low gross domestic product of 520 US dollars is a reflection of events like these. Devastatingly, my brothers and I pray every day that our children will be able to appreciate the things that we have while living here. Touring beautiful national parks throughout the country, such as Gorongosa National Park, that I had the pleasure of visiting on my eighth birthday. Fortunately, there may be light through the end of the tunnel, and today our country is beginning to produce forestry reforms preventing events like these from happening. Mozambique's illegal and unsustainable deforestation usage is beginning to affect citizens nationwide. If actions aren't taken soon, irreversible events will begin to occur.